Some people seem to call this your goal, so you know, so yourself, whatever you would call it, your goal sounds a bit like urinal, as we previously mentioned. So I just want to point that out. Uh, so guys, this is a very simple kit. Um, it's you know, there's not really much to talk about. So I'm gonna go through the basics of this kit, uh, and I hope you enjoy this. Okay, so this kit basically allows you to get three strength potions at the start strength one potion effect um, you splash them on yourself you receive a strength one bonus boosts or whatever um, and you can basically run in take someone out and you get that extra advantage um, so there are a few advantages with this kit that I'm gonna mention um, one being that when you splash yourself you get 2 minutes and 15 seconds um, strength 1 effect which really is quite OP I would say meaning that you've got 2 minutes and 15 seconds to just run around and take people out and along with that you've got 3 potions which means that's nearly 7 minutes of strength 1 that you can do on yourself and plus if you get a mini feast you can also take that to your advantage and get some more potions um, also if you're in a team, you can splash this potion on your teammate as well as yourself with using only one potion and that gives you both a great advantage to just go and take out people uh, as the two of you. Um, now, um, there are a few uh, disadvantages as well. Well, actually, there's only one that I could come up with, but I'm sure there are a few others. Um, one problem with it is that you could accidentally splash your opponent, as I've done many a time with this kit. I was re souping, accidentally right clicked my potion, threw it at my opponent, and I was dead. So that's something to watch out for. But also, the reason why this kit is my favourite, one of my favourites, it's OP, but you can take out those teams easily with this. If you just splash yourself before and you see a team of two, three, four, whatever, you just run in, they'll either see your particles and run away, or they'll try and fight you, some will run away, and you'll take them out. Okay, so to the ratings, uh, I've got to give this, for this start, a 4.5, just because of the fact that you can just splash yourself uh, nearly before the invincibility uh, runs out, and run out and just take out, you know, some of the people who are still getting wood, uh, getting mushrooms, and then you can get some really good supplies in 2 minutes and 15 seconds uh, with your strength potion. Uh, in the middle of the game, I would give this a 4 out of 5 because of the fact that there's not as many people by then, and uh, there's still a few people, so in the 2 minutes and 15 seconds, you could maybe get 2 or 3 kills. Also, if you've got a stone sword or an iron sword and someone's in full iron, you can easily take them out. Um, now, at the end, I would give this a 4 out of 5 again. Of course, there aren't as many people to go and kill, um, but you can splash yourself and take out someone who's maybe too feast, uh, and you could probably easily kill them in a final too. Uh, but overall, I would give this kit a 4 out of 5 for its OPness. Uh, it's a very good kit, but I'm sure at some point it will get debuffed. Uh, so you want to try and get as many wins as possible with it before then, <laughs> if it does. So guys, I hope you enjoy this uh, kit review. I hope to do more. Uh, you can check out the kit challenge on this kit. I'll do a review on kits and followed by a kit challenge. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this. Um, comment and tell me if there's anything I can improve on. Or if you're just comment if you feel like saying something and um, subscribe today if you uh, enjoyed my commentary and want to see more so guys thank you for watching I will see you in the next episode see ya <laughs>